kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Ghosts. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> <laughs> Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid, Candy? Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? Imagining things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts. But not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here! Admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, 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 it's a real ghost! <laughs> oh, my kitty! I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? These old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. At Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work, and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the 
greatest job of all time! <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course! Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun. Oh, well, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's so cool. Let's go there, Daddy. This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Oh. Oh. Cookie, stop! <laughs> Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my word! We have to stop the assembly line. Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. Memory. One day the kitty cats were getting ready to go to the playground. Uh, hey, Pudding, can you do me a favor and let me know when it's 2 o'clock? I'll be sure to let you know. What's happening then? There's a show about submarines coming on TV at 2 o'clock. I really want to watch it. Kittens, are you ready? Did you remember everything? Oh, yes, I think so. Cookie, did you remember to feed our goldfish? Uh, sorry, I forgot. But, Cookie, I asked if you would do that. Don't worry, I'll feed your fish for you. Why don't you go on and play? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Did you bring the book about vampires? Sorry, but I forgot it. But Cookie, you keep
keep forgetting it again and again. Yeah. Remember when I asked for your help building my model of the moon and you forgot? I'm sorry. I just sort of have a hard time remembering stuff. How about we try to train Cookie's memory? Then he could remember stuff better. Yes, that'd be just great. All right, all you have to do is take a good look at these objects and remember all of them. All right, sure. Hmm. Let's do this. First, close your eyes. Now take a look and tell us what is different. Hmm. The doll's gone. Very good. Now close your eyes again. Open up and tell us what's changed. Now the ball and bucket are gone. Hmm. Hmm, that's right. Now close them again. Open them. Hmm. The ball is back, but now the net is missing. Looks like you're pretty good at seeing things and remembering. Let's do a different kind of test, like a quiz to figure out how fast Cookie's memory is. Here we go. The first question is, what color is your grandma's favorite dress? <sighs> I know that. Her favorite dress is lilac. You're, You're right. right! How many steps does your cellar staircase have? Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Seven! You're, You're right. right! What time does your father leave for work in the morning? Uh, running late. It's almost nine. Oh. I know. At nine o'clock. Time. Oh, no. Pudding, what time is it? It's half past two. My submarine huh? show has already started. Oh, no! Uh -huh. <laughs> that wraps up the best show we've ever done. It was awesome. See you next time. Oh, I missed it. Missed it completely. Hey, Pudding, I asked you to tell me when it was 2 o'clock, remember? Sorry, we started playing and I forgot all about your show. Well, it's not easy to remember requests from other people. I remember by writing them down. Like this, look on the internet for the program about submarines that Cookie wanted. So I'll remember it now. Great, Mommy. Thanks. I think I understand now how my friends felt when I forgot all the things they wanted me to do for them. I have a really good idea. Cookie can write his friend's requests in a notebook just like Mommy. Then he won't forget them anymore. That is a great idea, Candy. You can even use this notebook right here, Cookie. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, I did all the things for my friends that I'd forgotten. Look here. I gave Smudge his book and helped Chase make his moon model. Very well done, darling. And I remembered to keep the promise I made to you as well. Look, I tracked down the submarine show that you missed. Greetings, wonderful viewers. Today's awesome program is all about submarines. Awesome! Thanks a lot, Mommy. From then on, Cookie took care to keep other people's requests in mind. And he used his special notebook to help him remember. Inventing an invention. One day, the kittens were walking past their friend Dart's house. Hmm? Hi, Hi there. there! Hi there. Hello, Dart. We're headed to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. I've been trying to invent something useful, but unfortunately, I'm finding it really tricky. We could help you with your problem. A bunch of heads are better than one. Together we would have one, two, three, four heads. We'll, we'll help, help you. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. A good invention needs to be really useful. Huh? Could we make an invention that would do all my teeth brushing for me? <laughs> hey, my teeth are up here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> It's probably a little easier to just brush your own teeth. You're right. How about a boiled onion detector? Which would tell you if what you're eating has any onions in it. Onions are so yucky, they must be stopped. Huh? Onions detected, uh, onions detected. Uh... 
Run for your lives! There are onions in the soup! Wow. You could just ask if there are any onions in your dinner. You're right, it would. What about a machine that would help you with deciding things? Hmm, which one should I wear? Ah, thanks a lot! If there were inventions like that, everybody would just stop thinking for themselves. Darling, have a great day. I'm off to work. Uh, oh my. Did you pick this outfit yourself, dear? <laughs> nah, this thing does all my thinking for me. Oh, yeah, bad idea. What about a machine that takes your hat off? Uh, or one that'll knock on a door? Or fluff up pillows? Or, or, ah. Uh... We've got nothing good. See what I mean? I've been trying to invent a useful invention all day and not a thing. I have a really good idea. We need to go for a walk. Mommy always says if you're stuck on something, you should take oh. a break and go for a nice walk. You're right. What Dart needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Ah. <laughs> The kittens had lots of fun at the playground. Dart didn't think about inventing his invention the whole time. <laughs> it's really good we decided to take a break. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Eureka! Huh? Taking a break! I think I have my invention. The next day, Dart invited the kittens over to show off his useful invention. My super useful invention will remind you to take breaks regularly. Wow, wow great. great! When the alarm sounds, that means it's time for a break. The arrow picks a fun thing to do while you take the break. Like riding a bike. That's, That's brilliant! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to his friends, the kitty cats, Dart found out that it's great to take a break if you're stuck on something, especially if you'd like to invent an amazing invention. Forgive and forget. One day, the kittens decided to build a model of their home. Candy drew a pretty diagram of the house. Kittens, that's a wonderful idea. I can sew little doll versions of the family, and they can live in the little model house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy and Candy went to the store to get some colored paper. Right, come along. I'll find you some cardboard, some glue, and scissors. Cookie and Pudding worked on the frame of the house following Candy's diagram. My half of the model's done, and it's awesome! All that's left is to cover it with colored paper! Oh. No, Cookie. <coughs> you just ruined a very important part. Well, would you like to crush part of my half of the model? That'd be kind of fair, right? Sure, oh. all right. Huh? Why'd you have to break my roof? That's way harder to fix than the part I broke off yours. Uh, how about you cut off one of the walls of mine? All right. Oops. Uh, all right, now do I get to destroy your half of the house model? No. Just let me think for a minute. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Cookie offered Pudding his favorite, tomato juice. So now are we even? I don't think so. I don't really like tomato juice. I like apple juice much better. Then I gave up my juice for nothing at all? Uh, well, do you think we'd be even if I gave you my candy? Ah, 
It's a deal. I like candy very much. Let's go finish the house. Just wait a minute. Your half of the model is still fine, and plus, you got the candy. My house half is just rubble. All I got was that juice I don't even like the flavor of. No fair. <laughs> well, then what if I gave you my ship? But my ship's really awesome. It's way cooler than half of a model. What if I trade my magnifying glass to you? But wait, I love my magnifying glass so much. I could give you something besides that, or do something for you instead. Cookie and Pudding tried making it up to each other by giving gifts and doing nice things. Is there anything we can do for you to make it up? If you want, you can have my ship. My magnifying glass, too. I can push you on a swing for a long time. And then I can give you my dessert. This way we could really make it up to you. All right, stop, stop, stop. If someone you know does something wrong by mistake, you just need to work to fix that. Isn't that right, Candy? Yes, that's right. I have a really good idea. Pudding and cookie. I don't want you to do anything. You had me the second you said you're sorry. I forgive you. Oh, wow, that was simple. Pudding, I absolutely forgive you. <laughs> I absolutely forgive you too, Cookie. Well done. We'll work up a nice new diagram and build another house. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that they have to forgive each other for making mistakes so everyone in the little house could live happily and help each other. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Oh, I'm just going to go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our um, poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show. <laughs> Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen! We added laughter medicine. <laughs> la 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 la! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Aww. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. Oh. <laughs> Let's do yeah. it. I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin. Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. 
How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. Oh. <laughs> but we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're gonna need is eggs. And flour, right? Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah, uh, darling, look there! The sun is coming out! Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me! It's really, really cheering me up! I'm beginning to feel better already! Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, <laughs> Mommy? I'm feeling much better! My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens, join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. How are we supposed to get it down from up there? Uh, we could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. What if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. No. We're never gonna be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. 
super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we do a few exercises all together? So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. Learning to fly. One day, Daddy brought home a remote-controlled flying toy. Daddy, what is that? It's a quadcopter drone. It's like a tiny helicopter with four rotors instead of one. You control it with a remote just like a toy car? Amazing! Can I play with the drone too? Me first! Give me the controller! I want to try too, Daddy. Kitten dears, I'm very sorry. But this is a toy that's only for grown-up cats, like your daddy. <laughs> Oh, it's not easy to control it. It's better to fly outside. In a little while, we'll go out and try it together. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But later on, I have to finish what I was doing first. You can look at the quadcopter all you want, but be careful and don't try to fly it. But toys are for kittens, aren't they? Not for grown-up cats. Yeah, it's not like we couldn't figure out how to make the quadcopter fly without Daddy's help. I guess we are the toy experts, so it should be fine. But shouldn't we take it outside? There's more room for flying there. Hi, guys. Look what we brought with us. Wow, that is really cool. My uncle has one just like it. You really know how to fly it? Of course. It's really not that hard. Tell Daddy. Oh. There's only one thing we can tell him. We have to tell him the truth. Daddy! Aha! Uh -huh. So are you ready for your first flying lesson? We'll hand me that controller and we'll head outside for our very first flight. We're sorry, Daddy. We thought we could do it ourselves. We already took the drone out. We tried to make it fly, but we had trouble controlling it. And now it's stuck in our chimney. Huh? The chimney on the roof outside? Uh, oh, my kittens, I had reasons for telling you not to fly this by yourselves. You could have broken the quadcopter or words hurt someone. Yeah, I guess we didn't. 
didn't really think about all that. I won't take anything without permission ever again, I promise. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, kittens. And it seems our quadcopter isn't broken, so that's good, too. Hooray! <laughs> I'm guessing the controller's broken, and that's why we couldn't fly it right. No, the controller's just fine. Trying to fly a drone like this is a little difficult. And that's why I said it was a toy for grown-ups. <laughs> We'll never be able to fly the drone like that. Sure we will. When we get really, really old, just like Daddy. Probably earlier than that. You just need to learn and practice. But never without Daddy there to teach you and to supervise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That is how the kitty cats learn that some toys are more complicated and can only be played with when you're with a grown-up who can help you. The Mysterious Cake Chomper. One day, Daddy baked a wonderful cake. My darling, what a lovely cake you made. Can't wait to try it. We'll have it after dinner for dessert, of course. But for now, let's let it soak up the cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now I just need to find a glass cover so your cake will stay nice and fresh. Cookie decided to have a closer look at the cake. And then he decided to try it. And then... I think this cover will do nicely. Oh, where did Daddy's cake go? That's a good question. Wasn't it just sitting right there? Cookie must have eaten it. No, it wasn't me. It was... It was... The Cake Chomper! Who now? The Cake Chomper? <laughs> wow, never heard of him before. What did it look like, Cookie? Well, uh, well, he had a cape, a spotted one, and a strange metal hat. Oh. Uh, and it was wearing purple mittens. <laughs> and it was hooting like an owl. <laughs> It ate the cake and then ran off somewhere. There's a cake chomper hiding in the house somewhere, and there isn't a moment to lose. We have to track him down right away. Let's go! Uh. <laughs> the whole family started searching for the mysterious cake chomper. It's not behind the sofa, either. Oh, what could the spoon be doing here? Uh, uh, the cake chomper must have accidentally dropped it. I'll look for it over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody, the cake chomper was just here, and I think it ran into Mommy's room. Cake chomper, are you here? <laughs> Look here! I found footprints, see? Looks like the cake chomper must have walked through some chalk. It would seem he has two left feet, which is weird. The chomper also transported himself into Mommy's room without leaving any more footprints. Cake chompers are even more mysterious than they are hungry. Well, I'm not gonna believe it exists until I see it. Okay. Oh, it looks like the cake chomper is branching out from cake to jam. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Now we know who the cake chomper is. Cookie, why didn't you just admit you ate the cake yourself? I didn't want everybody to be angry with me. I'm sorry. We're not mad at you, Cookie. Was the jam really tasty? <laughs> yeah, it was. And was the cake really yummy? It was so yummy. I have a really great idea. Cookie should just make another cake, and we can help him. That is a great idea, and I'll teach you how. 
So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So would each of you kittens like a slice or two? Yes, please. But let's keep an extra slice on the side. Yeah, just in case good old Cake Chopper pops in for tea. <laughs> <laughs> so on this day, Cookie learned that it's always better to tell the truth and to cook up a solution to make up for it. Germs. One day, the kittens came home from playing outside and wanted some fruit to eat. Yummy! I want to have an apple. I want grapes. And I want both apples and grapes. Kittens, weren't all of you just playing outside? You need to wash your paws before you eat because they're covered with germs. I've never seen a single germ in my whole life. What if germs are just a story Mommy made up to scare us into washing our paws? Hey, why don't the three of us go on a big germ hunt? And if we don't find any, we can tell Mommy germs don't exist. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy always says that there are lots of germs in the bathroom. I don't see even one germ anywhere. Of course not. Who'd want to live in the toilet? Maybe they like to live where there's food around them everywhere. The kitchen! <laughs> so, um, have you found any germs? Not even one teeny tiny baby germling. Well, maybe they're so teeny tiny that you can't see them at all without a magnifying glass. Oh. Oh, this is no germ. It's our dad. <laughs> I don't see germs on any of these buttons. Yikes, oh. I found one. Right in there. It's just a regular old spider. Mommy's always telling us to wash our paws when we've been playing outside, right? That must mean that lots of germs live outside. The kittens examined everything around them very carefully, but they still didn't find any germs. That's it. Our research proved there's no such thing as germs. Right. And I'm going to eat something right now without bothering to wash my filthy paws. Cookie, did you remember to wash your paws first? They've got germs all over them. And you're getting germs on the cupcakes as well. Daddy, don't tell me you believe those fairy tales about germs because we proved they aren't real. We looked everywhere and didn't find them. There's none outside or in the toilet either. So we never have to wash our paws again. No! no! You didn't see any germs because germs are very, very tiny. Even a magnifying glass can't see them. You can only see them through a special machine that's way stronger than a magnifying glass called a microscope. <laughs> huh? Whoa. I have a really good idea. The kittens washed their paws with soap and then checked them again through the microscope. Hmm. Well, now there aren't any germs on your paws at all. Which means you can eat all the cupcakes and fruit that you like. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs>
It was so nice to eat cupcakes and fruit when they knew there were no germs on their paws. From then on, the kitty cats always washed their paws before they ate. The Little Things in Life One day, the kitty cat family decided to visit Grandpa. You'll go paddling with Grandpa this afternoon, and after we'll have extra yummy treats for tea. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Oh, I need to help Daddy in the kitchen. We'll be leaving in a half an hour. That means we have more time to play. Okay, think fast. Daddy was talking to Grandpa on the phone. We'll bring our inflatable kayak over for a little paddling. Excellent. I'll gather some strawberries for tea. Don't bother with little things like that, Dad. I'm bringing one of my famous cheese pies for tea. Okay. I can't wait to see you all. It's gone back by 15 minutes. Righto. The inflatable kayak. Check. Paddles. Fishing rods, and most important of all, your life jackets. Hmm. And just enough time to make sure the pie gets baked through. We need to make the time right again. I'll hit it again. That'll make it move back. That didn't work. Uh, yuck. Yuck. <laughs> Whatever. It's just a little thing. It doesn't matter. Nobody looks at clocks anymore. They get the time on their phone. Let's play. Honey, something's burning. This doesn't make any sense at all. According to the living room clock, uh? this pie should have stayed in the oven for 15 more minutes at least. Uh? Hmm. It's all right. We'll bring Grandpa some jam instead of the pie. Oh! Ah! Oh, oh. Well, bye-bye, Jam. Oh, dear. We need to clean up this broken glass. Quick, we need to beat the traffic to get to Grandpa's on time. Ah, uh, I forgot to secure it to the roof because I was thinking about the jam. Daddy had to go back to get the boat and secure it to the roof. While he did, the traffic got worse. Uh, this might take a while. Huh? Hello, family. What took you all so long? Hello. Hi there, Pa. We're a bit later than we expected to be, but I think we still have time for some paddling. I'm afraid not. By the time we get the boat blown up, the sun will have set. This really is not our lucky day. We're sorry. This is all our fault. We accidentally knocked the clock and moved the hand so the time changed. We thought it wasn't a big deal. But because of what we thought was a little thing, a bunch of other things went wrong. Like the pie being cooked too long and burning. Ah. And because of that, Mommy had to bring jam instead. And all the jars broke. And cleaning up the mess in broken jars made Daddy forget to secure the kayak right. And going back for the kayak made us stuck in traffic. One little mistake with the clock messed everything up. Now it's no paddling pie or jam. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Let's pay more attention to the little things. Excellent advice, kittens. The little things in life are often the most important of all. We can paddle some other time. Don't you worry. As for yummy things to eat, how about fresh strawberries? Strawberries! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Good thing that Grandpa still decided to gather some strawberries. And the kittens realized that even a small thing can have a big effect, like little strawberries brightening up a frustrating day. Scarecrow. One day, the kitty cats went to visit Grandma. Stay away, cheeky birds. Ah, old 
done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, uh -huh. hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately, they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh. Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's going to be so, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the oh. lunch. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> I'm too tired to keep running like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring! <gasps> What if we painted some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now? The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Hey! Shoo, birdies! Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try. Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. They were really scared. <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police! Granny, it's okay. That's just our super duper scarecrow. It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children. Oh, but it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. We could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. But how would the carrots be able to grow then? They'd have no sunshine. We could put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Oh. Oh. oh, the birds are back. They're not even a little bit scared. Oh, boy. Aren't they scared of anything at all? Huh? Hang on. Look at that. The pinwheel. They're afraid of the pinwheel. It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. <laughs> Treasures of ancient Egypt. One day, Dad had picked Pudding up from school. Hey, Pudding, welcome home. How is school today? I have a homework project for the weekend. I have to prepare a report on ancient Egypt. How interesting. Nah, not really. How much is there to say about Egypt? There's pyramids and sand and that's all. <laughs> Don't forget the palm trees. <laughs> ancient Egypt is actually quite a fascinating subject. For one thing, the ancient Egyptians used to believe cats brought them good fortune. Really? And the pyramids contain precious treasures that are very difficult to find because it's easy to get lost in all the tunnels. Cool! 
Well, how about tomorrow we all take an expedition to ancient Egypt? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Somebody turn the alarm off. We don't have to get up for school today. It's the weekend. Wake up, kids. Did you forget we're exploring ancient Egypt today? Oh, <laughs> Mommy! You look really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the most beautiful woman in ancient Egypt was considered to be Queen Cleopatra. That picture is really funny. The head's sideways, but the body's front ways. That's because they had certain rules for drawing. Everyone had to obey the rules. Drawing differently was not allowed. Whoever was more important was drawn bigger in size. For example, a warrior was drawn bigger than a common Egyptian. And the most important and highest of all was the pharaoh, the king of Egypt. In fact, the pyramids were built for pharaohs in the first place. Inside of them, there are chambers full of treasure and mummies. And here's a map for you. Awesome! In ancient Egypt, they wrote in what is called hieroglyphics instead of words and letters. Oh, it's hieroglyphics, right? Yes, it's a kind of writing that uses pictures. Look for the good fortune hieroglyphs. They will show you the way. Awesome! <laughs> Come on, let's find the treasure right now! <laughs> Right. Mom said we need to find the hieroglyph for good fortune. But what do they look like? Uh, how about like this? The ancient Egyptians thought that cats brought good fortune. Mommy said that, remember? I think I know how to find it. Let's follow these cat pictures on the map. Bet that's how we're supposed to find the treasure. <laughs> Hold on, huh? who exactly is that lying in my huh? bed? Hmm? <laughs> 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 Hi, Grandpa. Why is your entire body covered with toilet paper? I'm not your grandfather. I'm a real live Egyptian mummy. <laughs> and I'm guarding the Pharaoh's treasure. <laughs> Run! <laughs> 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 Get up, dear Mummy Grandpa. <laughs> Our exciting exploration of ancient Egypt has come to a close. It was very fun and interesting. Now I'll have so much to say at report time. Thanks so much. But there's something you forgot. Don't my little Egyptologist want to find out what's inside the treasure chest? Oh. Yes, I carved those for you. Not of wood, ouch. So you'll remember that cats are lucky. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa spent the rest of the day pretending to be ancient Egyptians with the kittens who saw that any topic is interesting if you make learning fun. Clowning around with Boris. One day, the kittens were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sea captain. And I'll be a concert pianist. And I, uh, I'll be a great scientist. And I want to be a clown. Hmm? Boris, do you really want to be a clown? You're kind, but not so funny. Well, clowns aren't funny people in real life. They're funny with their bodies when they perform. But you never perform, Boris. You're right. Which means I better start. I'll come up with a funny routine and perform it for everyone. Everyone will laugh a lot. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But at home, the kittens realized that they were worried about Boris. But what if his routine turns out not to be funny? Boris will be so sad if he does a show and no one laughs. What if we sneak and tickle every kitten's paws? Then they're sure to laugh. Mm-hmm. 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 Ha-ha! That won't work. When something's 
funny, everyone laughs at the same time. We could put this in the audience and play a laugh track on it. <laughs> it would be really strange to hear laughter, but not see anybody laughing. <laughs> or you three could help Boris come up with his clown show. Friends are supposed to help one another. Ah. The kittens want to help Boris with his routine. Oh, thanks a lot for coming. My costume is pretty ready, but I still haven't thought up a funny routine. We can help you with that. Everyone usually laughs when someone falls down. Look, like this. Ow. Uh. Ow. You just drop the banana uh. peel and then you slip uh. on it and fall on your bottom. Uh. Go uh. on, you got this. Uh. 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 Looks like comedy wipeouts aren't your thing either. Everybody laughs when they hear a funny song, so just sing something hilarious. La la la, la la la. Funny la, songs la. really need to have funny words. But I don't know any really funny songs. Oh, here's something funny to do. Comedy gold, pie in the face, and all you have to do is stand still while I do the rest. You ready? No. <laughs> Well, that was a total waste of a delicious cake. Yeah, and for nothing, because it wasn't even funny. This is all my fault. I'm not funny at all. I won't ever be a real clown. Boris, you're really funny. That's hilarious. Am I? I wasn't trying to be funny. It somehow just happened by itself. <laughs> you know what? I think you really do have the talent to be a real clown. <laughs> I have a really good idea. The kittens came up with a clown routine to showcase Boris's natural talent. <laughs> And that's how the kitty cats yeah. realize that a talent may not always be easy to see. Sometimes it can even be discovered by accident. <laughs> <laughs>